What up, AKB for I here. So we have got Seven's flight log departure. I actually just watched Turbulence, and I've never watched Departure before, so now I'm gonna watch this and try to figure out what the heck happened in Turbulence and what led up to those events. Anyway, let's get right into it. So this one has captions, so I'm expecting more vocals or maybe a song, because in the other one it was just a terrible, terrible accident that we saw. There's the budgie, so it's like the bird is symbolism of something. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when you fall asleep first. It could be worse, they could draw obscene things on his face. <laughs> And look, even the, the bird on the wall was blue, like the blue little budgie. We used to have a parakeet and we called him Frosty. He was a blue one. <laughs> See, it was all happy and now we're going all Silent Hill on me. What happened? He's in that same outfit. This was like at the end of Fly. The way it seems like is it seems like they're not there. There's the bird. <laughs> or or maybe they were there at one point and now all he has left is the video of it because it's always like they're having fun but not with him you know Or maybe that's them as ghosts after... See, like, what's happening now? Oh, I could play a game of catch right now. So it's going between these scenes that are like them enjoying themselves and like from the view of the camera. <laughs> See, is that them being like not alive, dead, flying? They're ghosts, and they don't realize they're ghosts, maybe? Maybe they don't realize they're ghosts. That's a runway. Are these songs from the new album, though? I love roller coasters. I'm so confused. To going from like happy scenes to like or maybe
maybe he can't fly like them. Yeah, I think so. They're all flying and can do all these crazy things. Don't, he's going too close to the fan. I really like this though. <laughs> Could you imagine while flying at that speed and like a bug just like slaps you in the face? Or you get into a fight with an eagle for territory? Once again, he's now, his eyes are closed and now he opens them. And it's going back to this track. And there he is. Between the avenue of life and death. Yeah, okay, I think I got it. How do you get up there? Get down. There it is. Okay. I think, here's my theory. What I think it is, is that he's not dead. All of his other friends are dead, be it in that airplane accident, because I, I saw flight log turbulence first. Um, so what it seems like is they, they had memories on the camera that were actual memories, like them in the car, um, them in the room, um, them in the aircraft, you know, they were recording it. They also had points in time, though, where they were flying. So I think what it is, is the one who survived is seeing all these memories on the camera and, like, sort of remembering them happening, like, in his room and stuff, obviously removing himself from the situation because it's a memory, right? It's all from his view. And then everybody's starting to fly, so maybe that's him remembering that they're all actually not alive anymore. And at the end, when it's showing him on the edge of the building, he wants to fly with his friends, he wants to be with them, he misses them, he feels guilty for being the only one who survives. So maybe it's saying that, I want to fly with you guys, which is him, unfortunately, going off and maybe trying to end his life. That's where I'm a little confused on, that's where it gets really ambiguous for me. Because that's what it seems like it's pointing to, where he goes off, you know, and he... I remember, I think it was in Turbulence, or was it even the music video Fly, he jumps off the building and he looks, and they all are like flying and then they slow down. Because he's not flying with them, right? So maybe it's a metaphor for saying that he's not flying with them, but he's dead. Like, he never actually was on the edge of the building, but he wants to be with them so bad, but he knows he can't. So is GOT7 going to release more of these flight logs or something to tie it together when the uh, album actually gets revealed or released in a couple days? I hope so, because then I'll react to that as well. So what do you guys think? Are his friends actually dead? Or are they alive and it's supposed to be a metaphor for something bigger? They also showed that blue budgie. I don't know what that's supposed to be about. What I do know, though, is in GOT7's fly, they are all dressed in blue and orange, but they are dressed in blue, like the bird. So I'm wondering if they're doing some weird attachments to like certain symbols, like symbolism. I really don't know yet. I think I need more videos. Anyway, if you liked the video, please like it. Leave any more suggestions down below as well. And until next time, peace.